There is no easy bullet. Um, my natural inclination is, I think, to focus uh, much more on the on the bottom up side. But one 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 does need to have uh, the, the the leadership, um, the private sector contributing. Uh, the key thing for me is to begin with the information and communication needs of poor people. Now, what information do they really need to make a difference to their lives? Uh, what forms of communication do they want to achieve uh, their aspirations? Those are the key questions we need to ask and then design the technologies around them. Um, and, and I guess my other answer to that question is the importance of partnerships. Um, it's an area I've been working in a lot over recent years, but bringing together the private sector, civil society, governments, uh, international donors, um, a, a range of different partners to actually create solutions that will be in the interests of poor people. But that comes back again to, to the question I said at the beginning. It, it, it does ultimately depend if there is the will to do this. Uh, if there is the will, we can use technology to support the interests of poor and marginalised people. But that is something very different from introducing ICTs into poor countries so that large corporations can generate profit. Um, and, and, and there's a midway between those. I think uh, the market will take care of the interests of the majority, but it's up to governments and civil society and indeed uh, responsible private corporations actually to ensure that these technologies, which can dramatically transform people's lives, are indeed accessible, usable at an affordable price uh, by some of the poorest people. They have most to gain from ICTs.